Hey everyone, welcome to Custom Spray Mods. Now today I'm going to be painting this motorcycle fuel tank. I'm going to be painting it gloss black with a gold pinstripe around the edge of it, um, just like this picture. And um, yeah, that's just at the request of the guy that I'm painting it for. So as usual, we'll be going over the steps involved, different products to use, and um, if we run into any problems, I'll show you how to fix them. Let's check it out. So I've got the tank, the paintwork is in really good condition and so all I need to do is just um, scuff it up with some scotch brite or some scuffing pads and some uh, surface preparation paste. Um, you don't need this but it helps uh, etch the uh, surface, makes it um, nice and clean as well and it's going to help me prepare my base for a good top coat of whatever I want. So I can paint, paint straight on top of this um, by scuffing it, it provides a good surface and helps that paint stick. Now every scotch bright is a different colour. Normally grey is the correct um, colour to use when you're recoating, basically because it's a lot finer than the other colours. Um, if you apply two heavy scratches into your paintwork, when you paint colours like silver or metallics, then um, you'll see those scratches in the end result. So um, yeah, make sure you use the right colour scotch bright. And don't use like the same thing your mum uses to clean the dishes. Okay, now that I've got my parts all um, etched, sanded, and ready for the paint, I'm going to mix up some gold that I'm going to put on that pinstripe and spray the gold first, and then mask that up, spray the black over everything, then clear. So yeah, make some gold. I'm just going to use some um, coarse silver and some. Uh, what have I got? Bit of red gold. Huh? Copper. Bit of copper, maybe? Okay, now I'm ready to paint my gold, but first I'm going to clean the area with some wax and grease remover. Okay, so I've cleaned it with Wax and grease remover. Now I'm ready to paint, but before I paint, I'm going to give it a light rub with tack rag. Okay, so before I spray my color, I'm going to spray on some adhesion promoter. And I like to do that, especially when masking up, doing lines, because you don't want that tape to peel off your paint. So this adhesion promoter is ready for use, straight in the gun and spray it onto the part that you want to paint. So I've got 100 mils of base coat, so I need to add another 100 mils of base coat reducer. Okay, so I sprayed my gold base down. Now I'm going to use some fine line tape and mask up the um, line that is uh, similar to this picture. Then I'm going to spray black over that, then I'll be ready for my clear. Put 
two strips of fine line tape and some normal masking tape in the middle to get the correct thickness. And um, yeah, it's not easy. Okay, yep. so I've masked up my lines. It only took me about 40 minutes, but I've got them both pretty close, both sides. Now I'm ready to put my black on top. So I'll spray the black base coat, peel that tape off, and I'll have my line. Now a lot of people ask, how long do I wait before I start masking it up? Well, I left this for 30 minutes, and it's uh, about 20 degrees under this uh, heat lamp here. So um, yeah, about 30 minutes, and you should be able to start masking up your base coat. And um, yeah, now I'm ready for my next step. Okay, now the moment of truth. Peeling off. Okay, so I've put my base coats down, I've done all my masking and, and um, my lines, now it's time to put the clear coat on. Um, I've got a heat lamp here because the clear coat really needs a warm environment to go off and to flow, um, otherwise you can get uh, crazy runs when it's really cold, uh, which I've learned in the past. So I've got a heat lamp and I'm going to try and uh, warm up my clear, get it all nice and, um, and, and warm and that's going to help me uh, get it down nice and level. So yeah, here we go. If I get some dust in it, that's alright because we'll fix that later. So I've let the clear dry overnight, it's all nice and cured. Now I'm going to stand it with some 3000 grit sandpaper and uh, get those little dust particles out. Once you've sanded the clear coat completely flat, you can buff it with a firm pad and a coarse compound, then move on to a soft pad and a finer compound. Finally, you want to apply a, a good uh, auto polish that'll protect the paint and uh, get it looking good and lasting a long time. Well, there you go, the tank's all done. I uh, went through the whole process of uh, recoating uh, good paintwork, masking up some lines, and then um, spraying clear. And uh, also fixing a few little dust particles using some buffing compound and pads. You can get your paintwork looking awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's all done. Now, um, tune in next time where I'm going to be painting my own bike tank. I've had this project uh, on hold for a while, but um, hopefully I can get it done soon. And uh, yeah, any colour ideas would be great. Uh, what you think I should paint my bike tank. So yeah, otherwise, till next time, check it out. So yeah, that's it. Done, so yeah, check it out. And until next time, that was Custom Spray Mods.